Yo, what's going on guys? It's devastating. Thanks for tuning in today and welcome to a new video. And in this one we are going to have a look at the gadget, which is ridiculous in my opinion. I'm talking about the gadget from the Gully Stewed guy, the drone. But before that I wanna apologize for this horrible voice. I'm sick for the whole week now and I was not able to play this game a lot. And because of that I don't have anything leveled up and have no huge kill streaks. And that's why I cannot give you any tips, guides or advice. But what I can tell you is that the day one patch didn't really fix anything. So if you are interested in which features are missing from previous titles, you can click on the top right corner. Speaking of this, I went back to Battlefield 1 for this video and oh boy. The second I spawned in on Foul Fortress gave me goosebumps already. This game just has something which no other game has. And I'm really thinking about playing this game again besides Battlefield 2042. Cause to be honest, I don't see me playing this game for thousands of hours. Please let me know in the comments if this is something you would also be interested in. But now back to this video right here, we are defending a sector and the enemy troops are storming in. This is a perfect spot for sniping and of course for using the drone. Speaking of leveling up, with the drone it's an easy task. This gadget is just ridiculous. Simply fly over the enemy's head, you don't even have to press anything and they get spotted. For every spotting you get 5 XP and when a teammate kills them you get 50 XP and an assist. DICE even did add a feature after using this. Your scope will be bugged and you have to change the scope again in order to get the 6 time back. And I can tell you this is so damn annoying, I hate it. In the meantime our drone is still up flying and spotting automatically. I tried to shoot a enemy drone but couldn't destroy it, I don't know if this is a bug or intended. But anyway, every time an enemy is walking underneath the drone he will get spotted and you will get 5 XP. And flying this thing feels like a mini game in the game itself. But I think they could have at least make it that way that you have to press Q for spotting. Cause this will get abused, there is no chance for you not to get spotted. You are always on the minimap. And especially on breakthrough with 64 players on the enemy team, they will pile up at some point. In Battlefield 5 you could at least shoot the spotting flares. But nobody does this here and I think you only can get them down with a rocket launcher or something like that. But I'm not sure here really. Of course you could also put some C5 on this thing and fly it into the enemies and explode it. I have to try it next time. And now to a point which I didn't understand in the first hours of playing this game. In the end of round screen you can see that kills and assists are one statistic. They are put together and I was like why this does not make any sense. And I personally was always miles away from that number. And I thought well there just has to be a ace pilot or a hovercraft driver. But no this is the thing. You can see in the quote unquote scoreboard how many assists the squad have. And I was like damn how can they have 150 plus assists? And how can my squad mate have 80 assists? And it was exactly what I was doing here in the background. You don't even have to kill enemies in order to be the best in the statistic kills and assists. Who's coming up with such ideas? In previous Battlefield titles you had kills, assist count as kill. Which means that you did at least like 70 damage to the enemy before another teammate was finishing him off. And kill assist was just like if you hit the enemy once for example. And of course there was the spotting assist. But this was not recorded anywhere. And I think they put these two statistics together for the same reason they removed the scoreboard and the deaths. It gives new players the chance to say, ha look here I have more kills and assists than you. While he made only 10 kills and gave 90 assists and the other guy was killing 90 enemies and gave 10 assists. So some weird decisions here and I don't know man it just feels off a little bit. Cause I think there are some things and features in FPS games and especially in Battlefield games which mustn't be changed. But anyway I will try to be back tomorrow and if you enjoyed this video please consider dropping a like, subscribe if you haven't already and with that being said I'll see you guys next time. Just